Hi, I'm Ryan with H2Tronics. Uh, welcome to the H2Tronics video series. Today we're just going to be going through the Walkem W600 series controller. Uh, I'm going to be going through a little bit of the hardware options as well as the programming of the controller. Uh, as you can see, this controller is mounted on an H2Tronics uh, control panel. It comes with the connectivity, the flow switch, a uh, little dipper fluorometer, as well as three Milwaukee metering pumps. Um, all right. Some of the options, the hardware options for the W600, uh, take a look inside here. Uh, your input options, you've got two available sensor input cards. Uh, one is your sensor inputs for your connectivity, ORP, pH, disinfection. Uh, and then you've also got a dual analog input card and that would be for your fluorometer or a flow meter or something like that. Uh, you have the ability to include two of these cards, uh, any combination of the two. Uh, you've also got an optional analog output card, a dual channel analog output card, as well as the ethernet option. A few of the benefits of the uh, W600 controller is that it has a large touchscreen display uh, for, for programming the controller, uh, as well as on-screen graphing of sensor values and control output status. Uh, you also have complete flexibility in the function of each relay. Uh, it comes with six uh, powered relays. Uh, it also has the ability to data log, uh, as well as email alarms, data log reports, system summary reports, uh, and remote access with the ethernet option. Uh, now we're going to go through the programming of the controller. Uh, as you can see, this is the home screen. Uh, you can press here and this will actually display uh, all the, your values and uh, what's going on with the controller. You press here and this will take you to the menu. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your inputs. And this is going to be where you're going to set up your connectivity, uh, temperature, PTSA. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll select the input and this one is what our connectivity is set up for and then you'll want to press the tools button and when you press the tools button it'll take you uh, where you can set up your alarms, your low alarm, your high alarm. Uh, you can set up your uh, default temperature, cable length, and gauge. Right here is where you would actually select the sensor type. So if you had a ORP sensor or pH instead of connectivity, you would select type. Uh, you could scroll down through the menu and select the sensor type that you have and then hit the check. And then you can also set up the uh, name of your sensor. So if you want to name it something else, whatever you'd like, tower water or uh, whatever you need to set it up as. So then we take, go back. Uh, this is also, go back to inputs. If you've got a, the optional analog input card, uh, you could set up your analog input. Uh, on this one, we've got a little dipper fluorometer hooked up to it, and you can see the value is four milliamps. Uh, there's no flow through here, so. Uh, you could select the type of sensor you've got by going to the tools button again. Uh, this is also where you would set up your, uh, your range, your values. So the little dipper is uh, calibrated to 0 to 200 ppb. So we set that up, you go to units, and you could change the units to ppb, hit check. And then you could set up your 4 milliamp value and your 20 milliamp value. Now we can go to outputs. Uh, you select the, the output that you want to set up. Uh, hit the tools button. Uh, this one is currently set uh, to auto. They come, they're all set to off from the factory, but set to auto. You scroll down and Determine which direction you want your uh, 
relay to uh, control. Uh, select your sensor input that's going to be controlling this relay. So it's connectivity. And then you can name it whatever you want to name it as well. Uh, this is where you would go through and select the control mode if you didn't want to use on offset point, if you wanted to use uh, bleed and feed or a timer or a percent timer. Uh, there are a lot of different control modes available for each of the six relays on the controller. We go back to the home menu. Uh, right here you can select the HOA. You can select the relay you want to check. If you want to check the relays to make sure they're working, you can select hand. You see the light comes on on relay one. If it's working, your, pump, your relay comes on, your pump should come on. Let's put it back to auto. Right here is your config menu. This is where you would uh, set up the controller settings. So uh, first we've got the global settings. That's going to be your time and your date, uh, name of the controller. Uh, your security settings is where you would set up a password for the controller if you wanted to change it. Uh, your network settings is uh, your ethernet settings. And then you've got your display settings and here you can set up which sensors you want to be displayed on the screen. So if uh, right now we've got connectivity, PTSA, and flow switch, if you wanted to uh, change this one to temperature or something, you select temperature, hit check. And now when we go back to the home menu, the display shows connectivity, temperature, and flow switch. Also on the config menu, uh, the file utilities. And this is where you would export your data log or uh, expert, export a config file. If you uh, program the controller and you want to use the same setup on uh, many different controllers, you could export the config file to a USB drive and plug it into the other controllers uh, to set those up as well. All right, another of the features of the 600 is the online graphing. Go to the graphing and it'll uh, graph the sensors, the values. Uh, you can select uh, many different time periods for the graphs. And you can also export these graphs onto the USB drive with the USB port as well. This has been a review of the Walkham W600 series controller. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please visit our website www.h2tronics.com and check out some of our other videos. Thanks.